Hey, yo, yo. What's up, dude? This is my buddy Christian. Christian runs an iPhone reselling business, and in two years, he's grown his business from zero dollars to about a million dollars in revenue. It all started from going on Facebook Marketplace and finding good deals on iPhones that he would later sell for a profit. By doing this, he was able to make ten to fifteen thousand dollars per month, and now he's at a point where he's selling on Best Buy and Amazon. So I'm meeting up with him to see a little bit of the behind the scenes and learn about what it takes to grow a business like this. All right, hello, Christian. <laughs> we're not doing it like that. No, we're not. Can you tell me a little bit about when you first started selling phones and kind of like your journey in the past two years, what you've built it up to today? Um, yeah, so it's definitely, what it is now is definitely very different than what it was when I started. Um, when I started, it was literally, I think it was like maybe a month or two before COVID I started, I was still working full time and I just, I sold a phone, like my personal phone and the guy I sold it to, he was doing what I'm doing now essentially. He was buying it, it was cracked, it was a cracked back phone. I didn't understand why he wanted it. I think it was an iPhone X and he was paying me a good amount for it. And he was telling me about how he was gonna fix it, how he has all the equipment to fix it, sell it for more. But it inspired me to go ahead and look at the market, see what iPhone X's went for and see if I could actually do something with it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure the first phone I did, I made like 80 bucks. So it wasn't like a crazy amount of money, but it was like, at that time, I was used to working full time, so that was a fairly substantial amount of money to just like what seemed like doing no work because you're just buying it, not listing it. It didn't take that much time, so it got me excited, and I realized then from there, I just kind of slowly scaled it up. I'd say within the first few weeks, I was already at a point where I was doing like between one to three thousand dollars a week just in buying, selling right back on Facebook. Like I'd literally be waking up at eight a.m., look for phones right away, all the way up until like ten p.m. I was like always looking for phones. I was learning a lot because I was buying some phones I didn't make profit on. How many phones are, do you think you're selling a month right now? Uh, right now, I'd have to look into what our numbers are, but it's in, it's in the hundreds through everything. I will say it's like high five figures, if not six figures in a month we're seeing come through phones. Okay, so when you first started out, you were going on Facebook Marketplace, other selling websites. Yeah. You were finding phones that you could buy for cheaper. The, the good old buy low, sell high. Essentially, that's all it was. Yeah. And then now you're at a place where you're selling on Amazon, you sell on Best Buy. So like, how did you make that transition? Around, I wanna say like first year into it, I was selling on Facebook. I'd buy them, list, like make a nice ad, sell them on Facebook. And I was doing that consistently. But I guess a supplier who was doing what I do now with Amazon, they reached out and they wanted to buy, they saw I had 10 phones listed, they realized what I was doing, they wanted to buy all 10. I met up with them, sold them the phones. They'd buy for me at market price, so I'd still make, a good, I'd make like probably 80% of what I was before when I was selling them right on Facebook, but they'd buy from me in bulk. Mm -hmm. And then they'd do what I'm doing now where they'd go and sell those on Amazon or Best Buy Marketplace. Then eventually those guys got to a place where they found, I guess, more legitimate suppliers, not someone on Facebook picking them up. Um, and they told me about Amazon. They encouraged me to maybe sell the phones I was getting right on Amazon. Essentially, the only reason I ever got to a place to be able to do Amazon or anything like that, I built enough cash flow that I could actually go ahead and buy wholesale phones and sell them on Amazon, um, which the margins are a little bit lower, but is less man hours and more just understanding what you can buy something for when you buy in bulk and what you sell it for. If somebody is watching this video right now and they're inspired from what you're doing, how much do you think that someone who starts today could be making in say a month? I think if you actually put like a real effort into, like I mean like a good amount of hours a day and you have like some sort of starting capital, I'd say you could comfortably probably do a 10K month your first month. I'd profit. say that's that's a 10K profit. I think that's wow. very attainable. All right, Christian. So we've talked a lot about how you've built this business up to be a six figure business at this point. Um, and I'm sure there's some kids that are watching this video. And even though after everything that we've showed them, uh, they still don't believe that you can make the type of money that we've been talking about. So do you have any like invoices, any types of numbers that you can show us to prove that you can make this type of money with this business? Yeah, for sure. So without opening up my entire accounting book and showing you guys everything, I did pull up just a like a fairly decent month on Best Buy. Um, and it's just showing the balance paid there is 82,000. Um, this isn't a typical month, but it is one of the good looking months in terms of like the peak season I was talking about. Um, so it's definitely doable. Um, and then I can go ahead and just show you guys all the orders. Canceled, received, refunded. All paid orders, pages of it. I can show you up to 200 results if I needed to. 
Okay, that's dope. So I know that you're not actually going out and physically meeting up with people and buying phones anymore. You have all this inventory and you're selling on Amazon. Uh, but do you think that we can show the people watching this how they can go and find good deals and you know list them and make a few hundred bucks a day? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can try to make some profit today, find some phones using your strategy. Um, so Facebook Marketplace is just the place to be, right? That's where Facebook you find it. Marketplace or Kijiji is what we have here, and then if you're in the states, you could use Craigslist as well. Uh, whatever whatever you have access to, I'd use that. So the lowdown is you're gonna want to look within your price within $100 of your price range. Uh, so say for example for an 11, we want to buy it at $300. I'd only be clicking on ads or interacting with ads that are $400 or less for an iPhone 11. Okay. Algorithmically, at least on Facebook, that's why it's going to keep showing you phones in your price range. And anything above that, if you're making offers to try to get a $300 11, they're not going to bother with you. Okay, um, so I found an iPhone 11 here for $300. There's damage to back glass, therefore the price has been reduced by $100. So I personally, like that definitely I'd offer maybe $200 on and you could repair it. Um, today, for the sake of video, we probably won't be fixing anything. That's definitely something that people could look into. But... I'm, I'm gonna make an offer just to see if he would bite. Okay. $200 I can pick up today. Yep. Um, and one thing I will say is rarely are you gonna sit down, search the phone, and the first time you search, you're gonna see a deal. Um, the reason you're gonna find deals is because throughout the day, you're constantly on it. But hopefully we're able to find something real quick here just so we could go pick up. Okay, so we're gonna spend the next 10 minutes looking for phones, seeing if we can find something to buy today and hopefully flip. All right, so we found a good phone on- I found a phone. Christian found a phone on Facebook Marketplace, so we're gonna go pick it up right now. Um, yeah, what do you gotta say? Hey, how's it going? I'm just meeting up for the phone? Yeah. Sweet, I'm just gonna double check the serial number, then we're good to go. Perfect, there you go. Awesome, have a good one, man. Got the goods. When you're picking up a phone, what are the main things that you're looking for? Well, first and foremost, you're looking at the obvious. You're gonna look at the screen, is it scratched? Uh, so you're gonna take a look for those. You're gonna look at the back of the phone, sides, look for any dings. None of those, other than cracks, none of those are really that devaluing in terms of the value of the phone on the secondary market. You definitely wanna keep an eye out for those and like, if the person listed it as mint, and you're coming and there's scratches, you're gonna wanna call them out, you're gonna wanna try to get a bit of a better deal. The main thing you wanna check, cause if you don't do this and you get back with the phone, you're pretty much screwed, is you wanna actually go through the settings and make sure there's no iCloud account on it. The second most important thing I'd say is the IMEI number. This number is essentially like corresponds to the national blacklist, which is more or less if someone stole a phone and it's been reported stolen, the carrier will actually blacklist it so it can never connect to a network. I use, I think it's IMEI 24 or device check. How much did you buy it for and what do you think you can make on this phone? Uh, so this specific one I paid 220 which is a bit more than I normally pay. I'd probably want to be around the 180 to 200 range for something like this. I could probably sell it for anywhere from 320 to 350 So maybe like 100 to 150 bucks profit on this. Which isn't, I try to aim for 150 and up for profit. But still, compared to a day's work, if you find two or three of these in a day, you're already doing good. Your price could be a little bit less, a little bit more, but I can guarantee any market you're in, if you're actually there consistently looking, you're gonna find a deal uh, and be able to figure out what profit you could make on the phone. <laughs> Hey, MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> this is also a good time if you are to run it through. Uh, software I use is called 3U Tools. It's a free software, run it through there to test everything. Uh, it's fairly simple to use. Try to make people feel comfortable that they're not gonna get scammed and give them a good amount of information assuming they've never bought a phone before. There's our listing, fairly simple. And then you just wait to get responses. So we actually ran out of time on this day to meet up with someone on Facebook Marketplace and actually sell the phone. So Christian just put the phone up on Amazon so he can make a little bit more profit on it. But if you look at Facebook Marketplace listings and eBay listings, these phones sell for 300 to 400 bucks all day. So either way, it would have been an easy $100 profit. So not bad for about 30 minutes of work. 
All right, and that's pretty much it for this video. We showed you how you can get into starting a business like this, how if you're just willing to look for opportunity, you can find it and you know, nowadays you can make money doing pretty much anything. I mean, this is a very simple business. I'm not saying it's easy, but at the end of the day, you're buying phones for cheap and you're selling them for more. Um, so it's fairly straightforward. I think anyone watching this video can get started doing it today. So yeah, man, Christian, thank you for being part of this no video. Everybody watching this, thank you. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, and yeah, man, let's think rich. I'm Alex, this is Christian. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.